butter as you are transforming your celery into a log. Now celery is a plant that we eat. It is a stem, which means it grows above the ground, but it has roots at the bottom that grow under the ground. Now we eat the stem smeared with peanut butter. Let's get some more big clump. My tiny hands are sometimes hard to maneuver. I try my best and never give up. Smear, smear, smear. Okay, now we have some on there. We're going to add our ants now. Now I love raisins. I put them in my cookies and I put them on my log. Now sprinkle the raisins on the log. Mm -mm -mm. Did you know raisins were a fruit called a grape before they shriveled up? Now they're called raisins. That looks amazing. Now, if you are allergic to nut butters, just make ants on a very mossy green log, which is celery with raisins. And here you can see our finished product, a perfect ants on a log and an ants on a mossy log if you're allergic to nut butter. Now let's take a bite. about what topic we might be learning about this week. Did you say plants? Ding, 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 ding. You are correct. We are gonna talk about different plants this week. We're gonna talk about plants that are pretty to look at. We're gonna talk about plants that we can eat. We're gonna talk about how plants grow and why they're important. So come on. Before I get started, I need to check on my fish, Flippy, Floppy, and Ted. They look pretty happy, don't they? Whoa! Don't fight over it, guys. So let's come over here and take a look at our chart that talks about the different stages of a seed changing into a plant. I titled this chart from seed to plant. So in order to grow a plant, you have to have a seed. Say seed. Good job. Here's a picture of a seed and it's been planted in the ground or in the soil to grow. That's step one, planting the seed. Step two, after a little bit of time in the soil with the right sunlight and water, the seed starts to grow and change and an embryo starts to come out of the seed. Step three is the embryo starts growing roots and a seed coat, which is what covers the seed, starts to fall off. So this is called the seed coat, protects the, in the inside of the seed. Stage four is when the seed coat starts to shed or it starts to take off its coat. It doesn't need it anymore. So you can see the roots are getting a little longer. It's almost like a little stem is forming here and a plant is starting to form. So next for step five is the seed changing to a seedling, which is sort of like a small little plant. You can see the leaves starting to burst out of the inside of the seed. And we don't have that brown seed coat anymore. It's all gone. The roots are growing deeper down into the soil and by stage number six or step number six, we have a little plant. You can see the green leaves on top growing up towards the sun. You can see the roots growing down deeper into the soil. So these are the steps that a seed has to go through to transform and change into becoming a plant. 
Now let's come over here and I'm gonna remind you of all of our plant parts, okay? Now these are gonna be the parts of a plant, specifically a flower, okay? So here's our soil. And we know that once our plant starts to grow, it has roots, say roots. Good job. And the roots serve many purposes. They hold the plant into place and they also take water and nutrients from underneath the ground and fill it up all the way up to the top of the flower and through the stem. So the roots are very, very important. Now let's see if you can guess what I'm drawing here. Hmm. Squirrel, what do you think I'm drawing? That's right, a stem. Now I like to think of the stem as sort of a straw for the plant. The stem carries all that water and nutrients up the plant and it starts giving it off to other parts of the plant like the leaves and to the top of the flower. So the stem is very important. It also holds the plant up so it doesn't fall down, okay? So let's label that. Let's label stem. I drew an arrow and I'm gonna write the word stem. And I realized I forgot to label the roots. Say roots. Good job. So here are the roots. And I'll draw a little arrow pointing to the roots. So we have the roots and the stem. Next, I'm going to draw something else green that a plant has. Mm. Bison, what do you think it is? Good job. So I'm gonna draw the leaves of the plant. Now, do you remember from earlier this year when we talked about what the leaves do to help the plant? Hmm. The leaves take energy in from the sun and turn it into food. So here's our sun. And the sun is giving off these really nice rays and the sun comes down on the leaves and the leaves soak up the energy from the sun and turn that energy into food. So I'm gonna label the leaves right here with an arrow. I'm gonna write leaves. Now when we get to the top of the plant, that's where the flower is. I'm gonna use my favorite color, pink, to make a flower. So here are my flower petals. Different flowers have different kinds of petals. Some are more round, some are more spiky, but these are my pretty pink petals. Now the petals and the flower are the part of the plant that make new seeds. So in the center of the plant, if you look closely, I'm sorry, in the center of the flower, if you look closely, you might see little tiny dots all over in the center of the flower. And these are the seeds. Draw a nice arrow pointing to the different seeds. Now someday the flower, its life cycle will be all over and it will start to die. The seeds will fall out of the flower and they might fall down, 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 down here and land here. And then they might go down into the dirt of the soil and start growing all over again. Start the seed process and become a new flower. So when a plant has a flower on it and there are seeds inside, those seeds are gonna be used to grow more flowers. Now I forgot to label this chart. So I'm gonna, I'm sorry, not label, I forgot to title it. So I'm gonna title this chart, Parts of a Plant. Whoops, Parts of a plant. This is my title. Usually I put the title at the top, but since I had such a big drawing up here, I didn't really have the space to put the title at the top. Thank you for helping me today fill out my chart. Next, we're gonna go out into my backyard to plant a seed of our own. So come with me. Welcome to my backyard. It's a little cloudy outside today, but the weather is pretty nice actually. 
So we just learned about the parts of a plant, a flower specifically. Here's a flower, kind of like the one I drew inside. But this one's in a pot with the soil inside. And if you look closely, you can see the strong stems holding up the plants. We can't see the roots because they're under the soil, holding the plant in place. Now also you can see these green leaves taking in energy from the sun to help the plant stay healthy and grow. Now, if you look closely at the center of the flower, the middle, let's look at this one. You can see, oh, there's a bug in my flower. Let's see if I can get him out of there. I just tossed him to the side. So take a look in the middle. You can see where the seeds would grow, right in the center of the flower. Now, another plant I have in my backyard is a pot of lettuce. Now, do you know what you do with lettuce? You eat it. So it's good on salads or on sandwiches. So I think it's important for people to learn how to grow not only flowers, but food. Once you learn how to grow your own food, you'll always have something to eat. So today I wanna to show you what we're gonna grow. We're gonna grow a bush bean. Okay, it's like a green bean, something that you can eat. Okay, so we start with our pot and I filled it up with soil. Now in the middle of the soil, actually I'm gonna do three spots because sometimes when you plant a seed, the seed doesn't end up growing for some reason. So that's why we use more than one seed. So in this pot, I'm gonna plant three seeds. Let me make sure I have three. One, two, three. I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna stick my finger inside the soil about an inch deep. That's about this long. And I'm gonna make three holes for my three seeds. I'm gonna drop one seed in each hole. Now that they're in the holes, I'm gonna cover them up with the soil. The soil will keep it safe inside, give it the moisture and the water that it needs. And now we're gonna add some water. Now, now that we know the parts of a plant, let's go over the plant's needs. Say soil, say water, say sunlight, and say air. So our plant is gonna get all of those things outside in my backyard. I'm gonna leave it on our little porch and tomorrow we'll check back and see if there's any changes to our plant. Now I wouldn't expect it to change too much overnight that we can see, but underneath the soil, the magic is happening and the seed is starting to germinate and starting to grow and change. So now that we're done out here, let's go back inside. We're back inside now with all our beautiful plants. Now I have a fun book I wanna to read to you. It's called, We Are Growing! And it's written by Lori Keller. She's the author of the book. That means she wrote the words. She's also the illustrator of the book, which means she drew the pictures. We knew, know that because there's only one name here. So that means one person did the job of making the book. Now take a look. Do you think this book is gonna be nonfiction real or fiction fake or pretend? You're right, it's fiction fake. And we know that because by looking at the pictures, we know that grass doesn't really have eyes or a mouth or laugh, but it's gonna be a fun story to read. So let's get started. Oh, I know how much you love Piggy and Gerald. It says, Piggy, look at this new book. It is exciting as watching grass grow. Because it is watching grass grow. Exciting, let's read it. What was that? I think I just grew. Look, wow. You did grow. Look at that. Measuring them with a ruler. I just grew all by myself. Cool, 
huh? I know, I know. I made it look easy. But growing is hard work. In fact, ping, hey, I just grew. Oh, more of them are starting to grow. How does he feel? Not as happy now. Bam, wee, zap, bleep, honk. What's happening? They're all starting to grow. We are all growing. You are growing tall. I am the tallest. He is the tallest. You are growing curly. I am the curliest. You are growing silly. I am the silliest. We are pointy. We are the pointiest. You are crunchy. I am the crunchiest. Oh no, the bugs are eating him. Pop! I am the dandiest. You are a dandelion. A weed. Eh, I have been called worse. And a weed is something that just grows in your grass and it can grow anywhere. So what are you, Walt? Me? Uh, eh, well, I am not the tallest or the curliest or the silliest or the pointiest or the crunchiest or the dandiest. Oops. What am I? How is he feeling? A little worried? He doesn't know what he is? I do not know what I am. Oh no, he's starting to worry and panic. It is okay, thud. We will help you. So kind of them. I know you are, hmm, never mind. Hey, uh, yes, maybe not. Uh, let me think. Well, so what are you? Hurry up, Walt. Tell us. Come on. Think, Walt. Think. You can do it. Uh-oh. Starting to lose it. What's coming? Buzz, buzz. <gasps> the lawnmower. Buzz. <gasps> buzz, buzz, buzz. Get them all now. Oh no! Eek! What a mess! I am not the curliest anymore. I am not the tallest anymore. We are not the anythingest anymore. Do not worry. You will grow again. We will. We will grow again, grow, grow, grow. Before we grow, let's clean this place up. Hey, I think I know what I am. I am neat. Gonna keep things clean. You are neat. You are neat. You are so neat. You are the neatest. I am the neatest. Now Walt feels pretty good. We are all the somethingest. This book is the funniest. Yeah, I love to read. Me too. Do you know what that makes us? Yep. We are the readiest. That's the end. Oh, now we have to do the game. Try to find the pigeon. There's a pigeon in the back of the book, so find the pigeon. Do you see him? He's over here. 
silly pigeon. Did you like that story? Now that's what we're gonna say to our plant. We're gonna say, grow, grow, grow. And we're gonna see how it changes. Now I wanna show you a game that I want you to try to make today and play at home. You don't need much. You just need paper and a marker or a crayon and scissors. So I took some paper and I drew a shape, kind of like a squiggly circle. And then I wrote a sight word on it. What color is my paper? Blue. So if you don't have blue paper at home, what can you do? Use a crayon to color some paper blue, or you can use a marker. On the paper, I wrote a sight word. So you're gonna make a bunch of these shapes, at least 10, and you're gonna cut them out, and then you're gonna write one sight word on each. So we have the word here, we have the word cup, I have the word two, I have the word my, and I don't wanna show you the other two words I have because those are our new words today. Okay, I'll give you a peek. We'll talk about those in a few minutes. So this game is called Sight Word Jumping Puddles. So what you do is set these on the ground in your hallway, in your bedroom, and you can jump from puddle to puddle. So when you jump on a puddle, you're gonna say the sight word. So if you jump on my, you say my. Then you jump to the next puddle, which is the puddle two, okay? So it's called sight word jumping puddles. Come, my, what, here, of, two. Or you could call it sight word puddle jump. Now, one last thing before we move on. We need to do Trixie's treasure of the day. Trixie's treasure of the day. She's taking a little nap. Trixie likes plants too. I love plants and flowers. All right, Trixie, what do you have in your treasure chest for us today? Let's pull it out. Oh, it says, Remember to use kind words like please and thank you. Love, Trixie. Now remember while you're at home, use your manners with your family. Make sure that anytime your mom or dad makes you a snack or helps you get ready for bed, you say thank you. And if you want something, don't forget to say please. So important to have good manners. Now that's Trixie's treasure of the day. So since it's Monday, we're gonna unveil our two new sight words for the week. Hmm, take a guess, but if you wanna guess a letter, you have to raise your hand, paw, flipper, or fin. Hmm, pig. Hmm, no E, good try. Bison? A, good guess. Hmm, penguin. No R, good try. Squirrel. <gasps> yes, there is a W. Hmm. Otter. O? Oh, yes, there is an O. You guys are on a roll. Hmm, anteater? There's no L. Good try. Hmm, bison, back to you. There is a T. Good job, T. -t, -t. Hmm, pig? Say, of. 
Good job of. I'm so happy that you are part of my class. Hmm, one more word. Let's see. Squirrel. H. Good guess. Ding, 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 ding. We have another word. Say what? Say what? What is a question word? And it's our sight word of the day. So say of and say what. All right, now we're gonna learn our sight word songs. All right, it's time for our Heidi songs. So make sure you're practicing five to 10 Heidi songs every day. These are really gonna help you master your sight words, okay? So the first one is going to be of. O F. Of. O and an F. O and an F. O and an F. O Sounds like a V. No full and V. O and an F. O and an F. O and an F. O and an F. Sounds like a V. No full and V. O and an F. O and Good job. Practice it again. All right, our next sight word song for today is what? W H A T. What? W H A T. What you gonna do? W H A T. What you gonna do? W H A T. What you gonna do? No matter what, no matter what, don't you make a U? W H A T, what you gonna do? W H A T, what you gonna do? W H A T, what you gonna do? No matter what, no matter what, don't you make a U? All right, and parents, in case you don't know or in case you forgot, you can log on to your child's Clever account find the benchmark icon and click it. And when it takes you to benchmark, you can find all of the Heidi sight word songs. So please make sure your child's practicing at least five or 10 of them a day. It's really gonna help them master their sight words. You can also look on YouTube and search Heidi songs and you can find a bunch of other songs that are fun like the color song. I like Heidi songs too. Um, or other additional sight word songs too. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for coming to Mrs. Phillips Camp Kindergarten.